the first line of the second stanza is, in the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride. Heaney uses a poetic device here called inference, which means to make a conclusion from evidence given. Now, that sounds much more complicated than it need be. I can give you a very simple example of the way inference works. Uh, I see a painter painting a picture. I look at the painter painting the picture and I say, could you paint my picture? Now, is the picture that the painter has painted any good? I never told you it was good and I never told you it was bad. So is it any good? Plainly, the picture must be quite good because I wouldn't look at the picture and think, that's a rubbish picture, would you paint one of me? Unless I was an idiot. Since I'm not an idiot, you can infer that the picture itself is quite good. Okay. In the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride. Now, why is the father in the porch? In the porch, I met my father crying. Presumably, the father is crying because... He doesn't want to be inside the house weeping in front of his family. It's a strange moment for a boy when he, he sees his, well it should be a strange moment for a, a child when he sees his father weeping. Men tend to weep less. Many young men watching their fathers cry is not something they witness on a regular basis. And the boy comes home and he realises that something very traumatic has happened because this unusual event of seeing his father cry is occurring. This is a man who had never been bothered with funerals before. In the porch, I met my father crying. He had always taken funerals in his stride. Now, to, say, to take something in your stride means to, uh, literally, it means you're, you know, you're walking along and there's something in your way and you don't have to alter your step to overcome it, to step over it. To take something in your stride means it doesn't bother you. To take funerals in, his, in your stride means that funerals have never bothered you before. So his father is not seemingly a man given to emotion much, or seemingly not a man for whom funerals at least bother him. But something has happened here. Whoever has died is sufficiently close to the boy's father that it has made the man cry. 